أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Praise be to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Yet those who reject faith hold others as equal with their guardian Lord. He it is who created you from clay and then decreed a stated term for you and there is in his presence another determined term yet you doubt within yourselves. And he is Allah in the heavens and on earth. He knows what you hide and what you reveal, and he knows the recompense which you earn by your deeds. But never did a single one of the signs of their Lord reach them, but they turned away therefrom. And now they reject the truth when it reaches them, but soon shall they learn the reality of what they used to mock at. See they not how many of those before them we did destroy? Generations we had established on the earth in strength, such as we have not given to you, for whom we poured out rain from the skies in abundance, and gave fertile streams flowing beneath their feet. Yet for their sins we destroyed them, and raised in their wake fresh generations to succeed them. If we had sent unto you a written message on parchment, so that they could touch it with their hands, the unbelievers would have been sure to say, This is nothing but obvious magic. They say, why is it not an angel sent down to him? If we did send down an angel, the matter would be settled at once, and no respite would be granted them. If we had made it an angel, we should have sent him as a man, and we should certainly have caused them confusion in a matter which they have already covered with confusion. Mocked were many messengers before you, but their scoffers were hemmed in by the thing that they mocked. Say, travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who rejected truth. Say, to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth? Say, to Allah. He has inscribed for himself the rule of mercy, that he will gather you together for the day of judgment. There is no doubt whatever. It is they who have lost their own souls that will not believe. To him belongs all that dwells or lurks in the night and the day. For he is the one who hears and knows all things. Say, shall I take for my protector any other than Allah, the maker of the heavens and the earth, and he it is that feeds but is not fed? Say, nay, but I am commanded to be the first of those who bow to Allah in Islam, and be not you of the company of those who join gods with Allah. Say, I would if I disobeyed my Lord, Indeed have fear of the penalty of a mighty day. On that day, if the penalty is averted from any, it is due to Allah's mercy, and that would be salvation, the obvious fulfillment of all desire. If Allah touch you with affliction, none can remove it, but He, if He touch you with happiness, He has power over all things. He is the irresistible, watching from above over his worshippers, and he is the wise, acquainted with all things. Say, what thing is most weighty in evidence? Say, Allah is witness between me and you. This Quran has been revealed to me by inspiration, that I may warn you and all whom it reaches. Can you possibly bear witness that besides Allah there is another God? Say, nay, I cannot bear witness. Say, but in truth, he is the one God, and I truly am innocent of your blasphemy of joining others with him. Those to whom we have given the book know this as they know their own sons. Those who have lost their own souls refuse therefore to believe. Who does more wrong than he who invents a lie against Allah or rejects his signs? But verily, the wrongdoers never shall prosper. One day shall we gather them all together. We shall say to those who ascribed partners to us, Where are the partners whom you invented and talked about? There will then be left no subterfuge for them, but to say, By Allah our Lord, we were not those who joined gods with Allah. Behold how they lie against their own souls, but the lie which they invented will leave them in the lurch. Of them there are some who pretend to listen to you, but we have thrown veils on their hearts, so they understand it not and deafness in their ears. If they saw every one of the signs, they will not believe in them, insomuch that when they come to you, they but dispute with you, 
the unbelievers say, these are nothing but tales of the ancients. Others they keep away from it, and themselves they keep away, but they only destroy their own souls, and they perceive it not. If you could see when they are confronted with the fire, they will say, with that we were but sent back. Then would we not reject the signs of our Lord, but would be amongst those who believe. Yea, in their own eyes will become manifest what before they concealed. But if they were returned, they would certainly relapse to the things they were forbidden, for they are indeed liars. And they sometimes say, There is nothing except our life on this earth, and never shall we be raised up again. If you could but see when they are confronted with their Lord, he will say, Is not this the truth? They will say, Yea, by our Lord, he will say, Taste you then the penalty, because you rejected faith. Lost indeed are they who treat it as a falsehood that they must meet Allah, until on a sudden the hour is on them, and they say, Ah, woe unto us that we took no thought of it. For they bear their burdens on their backs, and evil indeed are the burdens that they bear. What is the life of this world but play and amusement? But best is the home in the hereafter. For those who are righteous, will you not then understand? We know indeed the grief which their words do cause you. It is not you they reject, it is the signs of Allah which the wicked condemn. Rejected were the messengers before you. With patience and constancy they bore their rejection and their wrongs until our aid did reach them. There is none that can alter the words and decrees of Allah. Already have you received some account of those messengers. If their spurning is hard on your mind, yet if you were able to seek a tunnel in the ground or a ladder to the skies and bring them a sign, what good? If it were Allah's will, he could gather them together unto true guidance. So be not you among those who are swayed by ignorance and impatience. Those who listen in truth be sure, will accept as to the dead, Allah will raise them up, then will they be returned unto him. They say, why is not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, Allah has certainly power to send down a sign, but most of them understand not. There is not an animal that lives on the earth, nor a being that flies on its wings, but forms part of communities like you. Nothing have we omitted from the book and they all shall be gathered to their Lord in the end. Those who reject our signs are deaf and dumb, in the midst of darkness, profound, whom Allah wills he leaves to wonder, whom he wills he places on the way that is straight. Say, think you to yourselves, if there come upon you the wrath of Allah, or the hour that you dread, would you then call upon other than Allah? Reply if you are truthful. Nay, on him would you call, and if it be his will, he would remove the distress which occasioned your call upon him, and you would forget the false gods which you join with him. Before we sent messengers to many nations, and we afflicted the nations with suffering and adversity, that they might learn humility. When the suffering reached them from us, why then did they not learn humility? On the contrary, their hearts became hardened, and Satan made their sinful acts seem alluring to them. But when they forgot the warning they had received, we opened to them the gates of all the good things, until in the midst of their enjoyment of our gifts, on a sudden we called them to account, when lo, they were plunged in despair. Of the wrongdoers, the last remnant was cut off. Praise be to Allah, the cherisher of the worlds. Say, think you if Allah took away your hearing and your sight, and sealed up your hearts, who, a God other than Allah, could restore them to you? See how we explain the signs by various symbols, yet they turn aside. Say, think you, if the punishment of Allah comes to you, whether suddenly or openly, will any be destroyed except those who do wrong? We send the messengers only to give good news, and to warn. So those who believe and mend their lives, upon them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. But those who reject our signs, them shall punishment touch, for that they cease not from transgressing. Say, I tell you not that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor do I know what is hidden, 
nor do I tell you I am an angel, but I follow what is revealed to me. Say, can the blind be held equal to the seeing? Will you then consider not? Give this warning to those in whose hearts is the fear that they will be brought to judgment before their Lord. Except for him, they will have no protector nor intercessor that they may guard against evil. Send not away those who call on their Lord morning and evening, seeking his face. In naught are you accountable for them, and in naught are they accountable for you, that you should turn them away, and thus be one of the unjust. Thus did we try some of them by comparison with others, that they should say, Is it these then that Allah has favoured from amongst us? Does not Allah know best those who are grateful? When those come to you who believe in our signs, Say, Peace be on you. Your Lord has inscribed for himself the rule of mercy. Verily, if any of you did evil in ignorance, and thereafter repented, and amended his conduct, lo, he is oft forgiving, most merciful. Thus do we explain the signs in detail, that the way of the sinners may be shown up. Say, I am forbidden to worship those other than Allah, whom you call upon Say, I will not follow your vain desires. If I did, I would stray from the path, and be not of the company of those who receive guidance. Say, for me I work on a clear sign from my Lord, but you reject him. What you would see hastened is not in my power. The command rests with none but Allah. He declares the truth, and he is the best of judges. Say, if what you would see hastened were in my power, the matter would be settled at once between you and me, but Allah knows best those who do wrong. With him are the keys of the unseen, the treasures that none knows but he. He knows whatever there is on the earth and in the sea. Not a leaf does fall but with his knowledge. There is not a grain in the darkness or depths of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, green or withered, but is inscribed in a record clear to those who can read. It is he who does take your souls by night, and has knowledge of all that you have done by day. By day does he raise you up again, that a term appointed be fulfilled. In the end unto him will be your return. Then will he show you the truth of all that you did. He is irresistible, watching from above over his worshippers, and he sets guardians over you. At length, when death approaches one of you, our angels take his soul, and they never fail in their duty. Then are men returned unto Allah, their true protector. Surely his is the command, and he is the swiftest in taking account. Say, who is it that delivers you from the dark recesses of land and sea, when you call upon him in humility and in silent terror? If he only delivers us from these dangers, we vow we shall truly show our gratitude. Say, it is Allah that delivers you from these and all other distresses, and yet you worship false gods. Say, he has power to send calamities on you, from above and below, or to cover you with confusion, in party strife, giving you a taste of mutual vengeance, each from the other. See how we explain the signs by various symbols, that they may understand. But your people reject this, though it is the truth. Say, not mine is the responsibility for arranging your affairs. For every message is a limit of time, and soon shall you know it. When you see men engaged in vain discourse about our signs, turn away from them, unless they turn to a different theme. If Satan ever makes you forget, then after recollection, sit not you in the company of those who do wrong. On their account, no responsibility falls on the righteous, but their duty is to remind them that they may learn to fear Allah. Leave alone those who take their religion to be mere play and amusement, and are deceived by the life of this world. But proclaim to them this truth, that every soul delivers itself to ruin by its own acts. It will find for itself no protector or intercessor except Allah. If it offered every ransom or reparation, none will be accepted. Such is the end of those who deliver themselves to ruin by their own acts. They will have for drink only boiling water, and for punishment one most grievous, for they persisted in rejecting Allah. Say, shall we indeed call on others besides Allah? 
things that can do us neither good nor harm, and turn on our heels after receiving guidance from Allah, like one whom the evil ones have made into a fool, wandering bewildered through the earth, his friends calling, Come to us, vainly guiding him to the path. Say, Allah's guidance is the only guidance, and we have been directed to submit ourselves to the Lord of the worlds, to establish regular prayers, and to fear Allah, for it is to him that we shall be gathered together. It is he who created the heavens and the earth in true proportions. The day he says, Be, behold, it is. His word is the truth. His will be the dominion the day the trumpet will be blown. He knows the unseen as well as that which is open, for he is the wise, well acquainted with all things. Lo, Abram said to his father Azar, Take you idols for gods, for I see you and your people in manifest error. So also did we show Abram the power and the laws of the heavens and the earth, that he might with understanding have certitude. When the night covered him over, he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I love not those that set. When he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, This is my Lord. But when the moon set, he said, Unless my Lord guide me, I shall surely be among those who go astray. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, This is my Lord. This is the greatest of all. But when the sun set, he said, O oh, my people, I am indeed free from your guilt of giving partners to Allah. For me, I have set my face firmly and truly towards him who created the heavens and the earth, and never shall I give partners to Allah. His people disputed with him. He said, Come you to dispute with me about Allah, when he himself has guided me? I fear not the beings you associate with Allah. Unless my Lord wills, nothing can happen. My Lord comprehends in his knowledge all things. Will you not yourselves be admonished? How should I fear the beings you associate with Allah, when you fear not to give partners to Allah without any warrant having been given to you? Which of us two parties has more right to security? Tell me if you know. It is those who believe and confuse not their beliefs with wrong that are truly in security, for they are on right guidance. That was the reasoning about us, which we gave to Abram to use against his people. We raise whom we will, degree after degree, for your Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. We gave him Isaac and Jacob, all three we guided, and before him we guided Noah, and among his progeny David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Thus do we reward those who do good. And Zachariah and Yahya, and Jesus and Elias, all in the ranks of the righteous. And Ishmael and Elijah, and Jonah and Lot, and to all we gave favor above the nations. To them and to their fathers and progeny and brethren, we chose them and we guided them to a straight way. This is the guidance of Allah. He gives that guidance to whom he pleases of his worshippers. If they were to join other gods with him, all that they did would be vain for them. These were the men to whom we gave the book, and authority and prophethood. If these, their descendants, reject them, behold, we shall entrust their charge to a new people who reject them not. Those were the prophets who received Allah's guidance. Copy the guidance they received. Say, no reward for this do I ask of you. This is no less than a message for the nations. No just estimate of Allah do they make when they say, Nothing does Allah send down to man by way of revelation. Say, Who then sent down the book which Moses brought, a light and guidance to man, but you make it into separate sheets for show while you conceal much of its contents? Therein were you taught that which you knew not, neither you nor your fathers. Say, Allah sent it down, then leave them to plunge in vain discourse and trifling. And this is a book which we have sent down bringing blessings and confirming the revelations which came before it, that you may warn the mother of cities and all around her, those who believe in the hereafter, believe in this book, and they are constant in guarding their prayers. Who can be more wicked than one who invents a lie against Allah, or said, I have received inspiration, when he has received none, or again who says, 
I can reveal the like of what Allah has revealed. If you could but see how the wicked do fare in the flood of confusion at death. The angels stretch forth their hands, saying, Yield up your souls. This day shall you receive your reward, a penalty of shame, for that you used to tell lies against Allah and scornfully to reject of his signs. And behold, you come to us bare and alone as we created you, for the first time. You have left behind you all the favors which we bestowed on you. We see not with you your intercessors, whom you thought to be partners in your affairs. So now all relations between you have been cut off, and your pet fancies have left you in the lich. It is Allah who causes the seed grain and the date stone to split and sprout. He causes the living to issue from the dead, and He is the one to cause the dead to issue from the living. That is Allah. Then how are you deluded away from the truth? He it is that cleaves the daybreak from the dark. He makes the night for rest and tranquility, and the sun and the moon for the reckoning of time. Such is the judgment and ordering of Him, the exalted in power, the omniscient. It is He who makes the stars as beacons for you, that you may guide yourselves, with their help, through the dark spaces of land and sea. We detail our signs for people who know. It is He who has produced you from a single person. Here is a place of sojourn and a place of departure. We detail our signs for people who understand. It is He who sends down rain from the skies. With it we produce vegetation of all kinds. From some we produce green crops, out of which we produce grain, heaped up at harvest. Out of the date palm and its sheaths or spathes come clusters of dates, hanging low and near. And then there are gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates, each similar in kind yet different in variety. When they begin to bear fruit, feast your eyes with the fruit and the ripeness thereof. Behold, in these things there are signs for people who believe. Yet they make the jinns equals with Allah, though Allah did create the jinns, and they falsely having no knowledge attribute to him sons and daughters. Praise and glory be to him, for he is above what they attribute to him. To him is due the primal origin of the heavens and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no consort? He created all things, and he has full knowledge of all things. That is Allah, your Lord. There is no God but He, the Creator of all things. Then worship you Him, and He has power to dispose of all affairs. No vision can grasp Him, but His grasp is over all vision. He is above all comprehension, yet is acquainted with all things. Now have come to you from your Lord proofs to open your eyes. If any will see, it will be for the good of his own soul. If any will be blind, it will be to his own harm. I am not here to watch over your doings. Thus do we explain the signs by various symbols, that they may say, You have learnt this from somebody, and that we may make the matter clear to those who know. Follow what you are taught by inspiration from your Lord. There is no God but He, and turn aside from those who join gods with Allah. If it had been Allah's plan, they would not have taken false gods. But we made you not one to watch over their doings, nor are you set over them to dispose of their affairs. Revile not you those whom they call upon besides Allah, lest they out of spite revile Allah in their ignorance. Thus have we made, alluring to each people, its own doings. In the end will they return to their Lord, and we shall then tell them the truth of all that they did. They swear their strongest oaths by Allah, that if a special sign came to them, by it they would believe, say, certainly, all signs are in the power of Allah. But what will make you Muslims realize that even if special signs came, they will not believe? We too shall turn to confusion their hearts and their eyes even as they refuse to believe in this in the first instance. We shall leave them in their trespasses to wonder in distraction. Even if we did send unto them angels and the dead did speak unto them and we gathered together all things before their very eyes, they are not the ones to believe unless it is in Allah's plan. But most of them ignore the truth. Likewise, did we make for every messenger an enemy, evil ones, 
among men and jinns, inspiring each other with flowery discourses by way of deception. If your lord had so planned, they would not have done it. So leave them and their inventions alone. To such deceit let the hearts of those incline who have no faith in the hereafter. Let them delight in it and let them earn from it what they may. Say, shall I seek for judge other than Allah when he it is who has sent unto you the book explained in detail? They know full well to whom we have given the book that it has been sent down from your Lord. In truth, never be then of those who doubt. The word of your Lord does find its fulfillment in truth and in justice. None can change his words, for he is the one who hears and knows all. Were you to follow the common run of those on earth, they will lead you away from the way of Allah. They follow nothing but conjecture. They do nothing but lie. Your Lord knows best who strays from his way. He knows best who they are that receive his guidance. So eat of meats on which Allah's name has been pronounced if you have faith in his signs. Why should you not eat of meats on which Allah's name has been pronounced when he has explained to you in detail what is forbidden to you except under compulsion of necessity? But many do mislead men by their appetites unchecked by knowledge. Your Lord knows best those who transgress. Eschew all sin, open or secret. Those who earn sin will get due recompense for their earnings. Eat not of meats on which Allah's name has not been pronounced. That would be impiety. But the evil ones ever inspire their friends to contend with you. If you were to obey them, you would indeed be pagans. Can he who was dead, to whom we gave life, and a light whereby he can walk amongst men, be like him who is in the depths of darkness from which he can never come out? Thus to those without faith, their own deeds seem pleasing. Thus have we placed leaders in every town, its wicked men, to plot and burrow therein. But they only plot against their own souls, and they perceive it not. When there comes to them a sign from Allah, they say, We shall not believe until we receive one exactly like those received by Allah's messengers. Allah knows best where and how to carry out his mission. Soon will the wicked be overtaken by humiliation before Allah, and a severe punishment for all their plots. Those whom Allah in his plan wills to guide, he opens their breasts to Islam. Those whom he wills to leave straying, he makes their breasts close and constricted, as if they had to climb up to the skies. Thus does Allah heap the penalty on those who refuse to believe. This is the way of your Lord, leading straight. We have detailed the signs for those who receive admonition. For them will be a home of peace in the presence of their Lord. He will be their friend because they practiced righteousness. One day he will gather them all together and say, O you assembly of jinns, much toll did you take of men. Their friends amongst men will say, Our Lord, we made profit from each other, but alas, we reached our term, which you did appoint for us. He will say, The fire be your dwelling place. You will dwell therein forever, except as Allah wills, for your Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. Thus do we make the wrongdoers turn to each other because of what they earn. O you assembly of jinns and men, came there not unto you messengers from amongst you, setting forth unto you my signs and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They will say, We bear witness against ourselves. It was the life of this world that deceived them. So against themselves will they bear witness that they rejected faith. The messengers were sent, thus, for your Lord would not destroy for their wrongdoing men's habitations whilst their occupants were unwarned. To all are degrees or ranks according to their deeds, for your Lord is not unmindful of anything that they do. Your Lord is self-sufficient, full of mercy. If it were his will, he could destroy you, and in your place appoint whom he will as your successors, even as he raised you up from the posterity of other people. All that has been promised unto you will come to pass, nor can you frustrate it in the least bit. Say, O oh my people, do whatever you can, I will do my part. Soon will you know who it is whose end will be best in the hereafter. Certain it is that the wrongdoers will not prosper.
Out of what Allah has produced in abundance in tilth and in cattle, they assigned him a share, they say, according to their fancies. This is for Allah and this for our partners. But the share of their partners reaches not Allah, while the share of Allah reaches their partners. Evil and unjust is their assignment. Even so, in the eyes of most of the pagans, their partners made alluring the slaughter of their children, in order to lead them to their own destruction and cause confusion in their religion. If Allah had willed, they would not have done so, but leave alone them and their inventions. And they say that such and such cattle and crops are taboo, and none should eat of them except those whom, so they say, we wish. Further, they are cattle forbidden to yoke or burden, and cattle on which at slaughter the name of Allah is not pronounced. Inventions against Allah's name, soon will he requite them for their inventions. They say, what is in the wombs of such and such cattle is specially reserved for food for our men and forbidden to our women. But if it is stillborn, then all have shares therein. For their false attribution of superstitions to Allah, he will soon punish them, for he is full of wisdom and knowledge. Lost are those who slay their children from folly without knowledge and forbid the sustenance which Allah has provided for them, inventing lies against Allah. They have indeed gone astray and heeded no guidance. It is he who produces gardens with trellises and without, and dates and tilth with produce of all kinds, and olives and pomegranates similar in kind and different in variety. Eat of their fruit in their season, but render the dews that are proper on the day that the harvest is gathered. But waste not by excess, for Allah loves not the wasters. Of the cattle are some for burden and some for meat. Eat what Allah has provided for you, and follow not the footsteps of Satan, for he is to you an avowed enemy. Take eight head of cattle in four pairs, of sheep a pair, and of goats a pair. Say, has he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Tell me with knowledge if you are truthful. Of camels a pair, and of oxen a pair, say, has he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Were you present when Allah ordered you such a thing? But who does more wrong than one who invents a lie against Allah, to lead astray men without knowledge? For Allah guides not people who do wrong. Say, I find not in the message received by me by inspiration any meat forbidden to be eaten by one who wishes to eat it, unless it be dead meat, or blood poured forth, or the flesh of swine, for it is an abomination, or what is impious meat, on which a name has been invoked other than Allah's. But even so, if a person is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, your Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. For those who followed the Jewish law, we forbade every animal with undivided hoof, and we forbade them the fat of the ox and the sheep, except what adheres to their backs or their entrails or is mixed up with a bone. This in recompense for their willful disobedience, for we are true in our ordinances. If they accuse you of falsehood, say, Your Lord is full of mercy, all-embracing. But from people in guilt never will his wrath be turned back. Those who give partners to Allah will say, If Allah had wished, we should not have given partners to him, nor would our fathers, nor should we have had any taboos. So did their ancestors argue falsely, until they tasted of our wrath? Say, Have you any certain knowledge? If so, produce it before us. You follow nothing but conjecture. You do nothing but lie. Say, with Allah is the argument that reaches home. If it had been his will, he could indeed have guided you all. Say, bring forward your witnesses to prove that Allah did forbid so and so. If they bring such witnesses, be not you amongst them, nor follow you the vain desires of such as treat our signs as falsehoods, and such as believe not in the hereafter, for they hold others as equal with their guardian Lord. Say, Come, I will rehearse what Allah has really prohibited you from. Join not anything as equal with him. Be good to your parents. Kill not your children on a plea of want. We provide sustenance for you and for them. Come not nigh to shameful deeds, whether open or secret. Take not life 
which Allah has made sacred, except by way of justice and law. Thus does he command you, that you may learn wisdom. And come not nigh to the orphan's property, except to improve it, until he attains the age of full strength. Give measure and weight with full justice. No burden do we place on any soul, but that which it can bear. Whenever you speak, speak justly, even if a near relative is concerned. And fulfill the covenant of Allah. Thus does he command you, that you may remember. Verily, this is my way, leading straight. Follow it. Follow not other paths. They will scatter you about from his great path. Thus does he command you, that you may be righteous. Moreover, we gave Moses the book completing our favor to those who would do right and explaining all things in detail, and a guide and a mercy that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a book which we have revealed as a blessing. So follow it and be righteous that you may receive mercy. Lest you should say, the book was sent down to two peoples before us, and for our part we remain unacquainted with all that they learnt by assiduous study. Or lest you should say, if the book had only been sent down to us, we should have followed its guidance better than they. Now then has come unto you a clear sign from your Lord, and a guide and a mercy. Then who could do more wrong than one who rejects Allah's signs, and turns away therefrom? In good time shall we requite those who turn away from our signs, with a dreadful penalty for their turning away? Are they waiting to see if the angels come to them, or your Lord himself, or certain of the signs of your Lord? The day that certain of the signs of your Lord do come, no good will it do to a soul to believe in them then, if it believed not before, nor earned righteousness through its faith. Say, Wait, you, we too are waiting. As for those who divide their religion and break up into sects, you have no part in them in the least. Their affair is with Allah. He will in the end tell them the truth of all that they did. He that does good shall have ten times as much to his credit. He that does evil shall only be recompensed according to his evil. No wrong shall be done unto any of them. Say, Verily my Lord has guided me to a way that is straight a religion of right, the path trod by Abram, the true in faith, and he certainly joined not gods with Allah. Say, truly my prayer and my service of sacrifice, my life and my death, are all for Allah, the cherisher of the worlds. No partner has he, this am I commanded, and I am the first of those who bow to his will. Say, Shall I seek for my cherisher other than Allah, when he is the cherisher of all things that exist? Every soul draws the meed of its acts on none but itself. No bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another. Your goal in the end is towards Allah. He will tell you the truth of the things wherein you disputed. It is he who has made you his agents, inheritors of the earth. He has raised you in ranks, some above others, that he may try you in the gifts he has given you. For your Lord is quick in punishment, yet he is indeed oft forgiving, most merciful.